Welcome back to Karen Go Burr, the ultimate destination for jaw-dropping Karen encounters. Brace yourself for jaw-dropping moments in today's lineup. Karen gets a surprising punch after slapping the wrong man. Watch as an intoxicated Karen's running a profanity marathon at an Uber driver, witness Karen's wild solo car wash escapade, and join the clash of Karens over the absence of wine on a flight. Fasten your seatbelts, it's time for a roller coaster ride into the bizarre universe of Karens. Hold on to your hats as we embark on a riveting journey with an intoxicated Karen stealing the spotlight on the highway. I'm not, but guess what? I paid $85 for this man to get home on the bull. Oh. Not. Nah, I'm the Uber driver. They attacked me and I dropped them off, and the cops on the way. The cops are on the way. And your cops She's been attacking me. Bring you in over here. And guess what? You're Stop. like in my man's and master's in the military, which is why he don't want to get over there this year. Okay. Master Chief's gonna be all over the internet now. Uh, what 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 command you what, what command you in? You don't have enough followers, homeboy. What command? What commands are your master chief from? Yeah, honey. What's his command? Ooh, ooh. Yeah, don't worry about it. Thanks, master chief. Her sober sidekick attempts a heroic entrance, but it's like trying to teach calculus to a goldfish. But you bomb You drive. You're not even a ooh. taxi cab driver. I recorded you. I'm gonna record you because you're a bomb. You don't even have another ooh. car to pick up as you. Assault because you have another pickup. So let's talk about the fact that you're bothered by the fact that because you're a fool. Let's talk about that. Let's talk about the fact that you're a bomb. You're a fucking bomb and a monster. You have nothing else to do. Cause you don't got another pickup to do, you fucking bum. You probably have a bunch of fucking kids at home. And guess what you're doing? You're sitting here driving the car. You piece of shit. You ain't got another ride, right? Patience reaches intergalactic levels. Ma'am, save the autobiography for Oprah, not the freeway. Thanks for taking care of her for me. Appreciate it. Ooh, ooh. Thank you. Ooh. 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 You're not with your food, Shabby. Ooh, ooh. Yeah. Thanks. Forget Uber, they deserve an award for being the most cringe-inducing Karen couple ever. Get ready for the spectacle as Karen decides she's a one-woman car wash extravaganza. Don't worry, while you make a complaint, I got you on video. Hey, just so you know, this is a $1,200 phone. I don't know what your problem is, lady. I just told you I'm not giving you my credit card. I put it into the my job. Myself. It's my job. Even if I go to a restaurant, it's my job. Get my You're going to be all over the internet. Go ahead. You're going to be famous. Go ahead. Utilizing equipment without paying, she must have hit her head harder than a soap opera character. I'm already famous. The rude lady at the car wash. She can get out and do it herself. Damn, what a terrible life we live, huh? That's okay, I got you on video. I got video evidence. What do you have? What do you have besides your word? Hmm? You want to know something? 
Are you going to let me run my own credit card in the car wash? It's my job. You can do whatever you want. It's okay. a free country. So why aren't you washing my car off? Because like it's a free country. Else. You can do it. It's not a breakdown. It's Karen's avant-garde performance art of chaos and water droplets. Okay. I'm not even from here. Sure you ain't. I don't know. I, I could call the police and have them run your name. I could report you on Facebook. Uh, For what? On the For what? If you post a, a video on me. Really? <laughs> you must not know about the Second Amendment. I know. Really? Then it is not illegal to film you. Okay. Karen's golden tip, exude confidence while being the reigning queen of ludicrousness. Hold on to your popcorn as we witness a Karen assaulting an ATM as if it owes her a debt of gratitude. Karen shifts her target to innocent bystanders, showcasing her unique talent for chaos creation. The audience seems more entertained than a sold-out comedy show, catching a hilarious glimpse into Karen's universe. Join us for the tea-infused banter as a male Karen clashes with staff over the elixir of life. Sweet tea. I, a sweet tea. Uh, please go. And this lady snatched my please cup go. out of my hand. Don't touch my phone. I'm not touching snatched my cup out of my hand. This worker right here saw me and my girlfriend come in here Sir, you need to without stop a stop recording. Did, please stop did me recording. and my girlfriend buy uh, two sweet teas? Because that's ridiculous. Excuse me, sweetie. Excuse me. No, you just caused the scene in this establishment for nothing. You no, you grabbed my cup right there. Did, did you did you or did you not grab my cup? Ma'am. Is this Karen erupting because someone dared to touch his sacred cup of sweet ambrosia? Grow up, buddy. Could you get the lady in the back window for me? No, sir. You have to go. I have my receipt and everything. Thank you. Shut that off. I don't have to turn my camera off. Yes, you do. No, I don't. Yes, you do. You're You're man, don't touch me. I ain't caused no problem. She's the one up in here doing no, all this. She isn't. But uh, get on. I'm straight. My dad just died with cancer yesterday. Well, I come to get a tea. You need to go. You need to get out right now. You just grabbed my tea and I took my tea from me. Sir. I gave you a new food. So why would you take my tea from me if I have my receipt? I paid a dollar for okay, a, a sweet tea. Your, get out. So why would you take my tea get, out of my get, hand? Get, get out. My receipt's in my hand. Get your drink and go. So please. why did you grab my tea? That don't make sense. I want to know your name. Someone brew this male Karen. It might make the tea bitter, but it'll definitely improve his disposition. Witness these Karen officers attempting to pull over a man for no apparent reason. It's like a scene from a blockbuster cop thriller. That's fine, I can hear you. I can hear you. Alright, sir, hey, listen. Bring your window down. I can hear you just fine. Go ahead, need to get out of the car? 
trying to talk to you. I can hear you. Okay. Where are you coming from today? I don't answer questions. Okay. Any alcohol today? I don't answer questions. I understand that. He's just driving. Let the man navigate life's chaos without Karen's intervention. It's a drive, not a debate. Okay. I want to make sure that you haven't been drinking today. I understand that. Sir, you can make it easier, easy on yourself or hard on yourself here, okay? Do you suspect me of committing a crime? What's that? Do you suspect me of committing a crime? Well, that's what we're trying to figure out. Okay. Smooth moves. Note to self, ignore Karens as if they're invisible. It's the ultimate power move. Dive into this high-flying drama where Karens clash with a lady over the absence of wine. Move over, Hollywood. We've got a new blockbuster. The flight attendant's expression screams Oscar-worthy performance as he contemplates a career switch. temper reaches volcanic levels, which is understandable when dealing with airborne Karen. Someone get this man a superhero cape. Her daily routine of being a Karen drama queen concludes successfully. Cue the credits, that's a wrap. In the following clip, a lawyer's wife attempts a gaslighting escape act, turning a minor accident into a cinematic masterpiece. No, I want, I'll just get your name and I'll talk to my husband because I'm not doing this. My husband's a lawyer. If you want to lie, then we could go down that road because I know the car's never touched. Oh my gosh. Okay, I was inside the I car inside and the car I too. felt it move. Okay, well, I guarantee it didn't move, so I don't know what I doing. felt it move. Okay. Mm -hmm. My car is brand new. So is mine. Well, all I want to do is change insurance all information. Right, just give me your number, please. So, okay, so I just want to let you know if you don't, if you leave without giving me I'm insurance. Not I'm going okay. into the bakery. Okay. I just asked for your number. I'll give you my no, no, number. No, no, no. That's all we so need. So, the to legal show. thing to do is change insurance okay, well, information. Do whatever. Just write down your shirt and leave me the whole alarm. I'm not in the mood. You're lying, and you want to write down your stuff, that's fine. Let's applaud her Oscar-worthy performance in The Art of Lying and Deception. Move over, Meryl Streep. We've got a contender. So where to be in on Okay, so me. you're okay with exchanging insurance information? It's called a hit and run if we don't do this. I said I'm writing it down. Okay, okay, okay. Where's yours? Okay, I'm getting it right now. Okay, okay. 
our resident gaslighting master signs off, leaving us questioning everything. It's a Hollywood-worthy plot twist. Prepare for the next blockbuster as a male Karen takes the stage, claiming the title of the maestro of all races. Fucking illegal! I hate illegal! What is the problem? You're illegal! You are illegal! Ooh, ooh. Sir, illegal! Sir? No, he can't do that! No, he can't! I almost had an accident! It's not his fault! Amen! What did uh, he you say? You say illegal! Karen accuses a man of being illegal based on, well, nothing at all. It's like a poorly scripted stand up routine. Okay, mother. Get the out of here, mother. Off she goes, leaving a trail of embarrassment and absurdity in her wake. It's a comedic masterpiece. Dive into the chaos as this duo of hungry Karens unleashes mayhem over their eagerly anticipated feast. Move over, culinary shows. This is the real drama. Yo, <clears throat> why are you breaking the window, G? Give me the phone number of who you don't want to call. What's, what's up with you, man? My phone number. What's wrong with you? Write something on a piece of paper, you dumb Ooh. You're a Ooh. moron and you won't do anything. What's wrong with you? They gotta be drunk or something. Bro, watch out. Bro, watch out, bro. Don't play that. Ooh. Bro. You are stolen money. Not drunk, just Karens in their natural habitat causing a stir. It's like a cooking show, but with Karens and chaos. This I'm, is Cody, the manager at Wendy's. It is 11.35. They're open till midnight. They took my order. They charged my card. He refused to give us any food. I'm sorry. He refused to give us a contact number. She ordered online, and yes. I told her we closed, and she's mad. Money, I don't know what to tell her, bro. Hey, Terrence, Terrence, call the police, bro. No, just keep keep on the phone with the police. Never mess with Karen's order or witness the unleashing of their inner monsters. It's the horror movie we never knew we needed. Step into the delusional world of this Karen, convinced she's the neighborhood sheriff while others mind their own business. It's a sitcom in the making. Okay, yeah, I'll pay. I'll pay for it. I'll pay for it. It to I'll pay for it. I'll pay for it. Yeah, you will. Yeah. I don't know how because you ain't got nothing. I'll pay for it, lunatic. Ooh. You're a lunatic. Go in your go in your own property. You are a what? This is my property. Ooh. You're a white trash. Go you're inside your own. Oh, go to hell. Why do you loiter around this junk? Loiter. It's my fucking property, you? stupid. Go away. If this is not your property. It belongs to the bank. Oh, does it? We all know. You know, don't you? I do know. You're fucking smart. You're smart. Securing the top spot in nonsensical chatter, Karen's voice echoes through the neighborhood. It's the talk show we never asked for. You really aren't. That's why you left your shipping label on that sign you left. Shipping label? Yeah, your shipping label. When you left the fucking signs talking about meth lab. On what? That wasn't me. It wasn't you? No. Somebody just came and took your box and, and wrote a sign on it? It wasn't me. It's probably my husband. Mm -hmm. I'm not going anywhere. The bank is taking this house from you. You don't own it. You yeah. Made a payment since 2018. You don't even know what the f you're talking about. I do too. It's public record. You, you don't know what you're talking about. Public record. Karen should have a separate community, far, far from the sanity of those minding their own business. It's the blockbuster solution to neighborhood drama. Laugh along as Karen panics over a power wheel, summoning the authorities for playground mayhem. It's a slapstick comedy with a touch of absurdity. Got ourselves a Karen over here.
Go ahead, ma'am. It's not a it's not a four wheeler. It's a power wheel. Look at that four wheeler. Well, looky here, old Karen over here. Calls the cops. Call some kids, cause we got a four wheeler in the park. Okay, Don't worry about if I'm okay. Just go. Just you go ahead and go. No, you need to leave. No, you, I'm like, I like, I don't care who you are. I don't care who you are. I don't care who you are. Like I said, until I get something in written. Okay, like I said, do I see anything here? Do I see anything here? We ha do we have to put a, a sign up for everything? Yeah, if you, I don't, what, why am I going to take your word for it? Why would I take your word for it? Who are you? Just because you come and tell me, I can tell you I'm the President of the United States. Are you going to believe me? Don't mean, you can record too, exactly. Exactly, you can record too. I Ashley nicely. Okay, and who are you for me to give you my address? Asking for my address. The deputy asked to okay. talk to you. Okay, so when the deputy asks to talk to me, who are you? Her lightness might be due to an empty skull, a cranial vacuum, if you will. It's a scientific discovery, Karen style. You're not the deputy. When the deputy come and ask for my address, then that's a different story. But until then, who are you to come and ask me for my address? Uh, because the deputy asked you. Okay, I don't care who asked you. I don't care who asked you. The deputy can ask you all he wants. Let the deputy ask you. Okay, you need to go. But the thing is, is that there's supposed to be no four-wheelers on it. Okay, do you see a four-wheeler? Do you see a four-wheeler? Any sort of... Okay, do you see a four-wheeler? Okay, what's your definition of a four-wheeler? Look, they're calling you over there. Okay, go. You come out here bothering us. Okay, so you can call... Okay, so what? Are you gonna say they can't be on the grass now? They, they can't be on the grass now? The thing is, he just, he just, um, he, he just, he just, he keeps stuttering, keeps stuttering. You don't even know what you're gonna say next. You don't even know what you're gonna say next. You're just making up stuff. You're just pulling stuff out of a bag. Keep pulling it out of a bag. I just saw Mike. Okay, good, Mike. Look, there comes another kid. Don't let him be on over here in the park, right? What is it for the neighborhood or for you? Is the park for the neighborhood or for you? Why is Karen so intellectually challenged? Even kids can't play in peace. It's a mystery that even Sherlock would struggle to solve. In this fiery showdown, Karen picks on the wrong guy and gets a lesson she'll never forget. It's the epic showdown we've all been waiting for. Ooh. 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 Oh! That took a wrong turn from being Karen to being beaten up into a pole. Ouch! That floor kiss was a poetic end. Lil Missy decided to kiss the floor, as she should. It's the grand finale we didn't know we needed. As our roller coaster through Karen Chaos comes to a thrilling close, savor the aftermath of Karen gets a surprising punch after slapping the wrong man, and the intoxicated Karen's running a profanity marathon at an Uber driver. If these Karens left you wanting more, show some love. Like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. Share your favorite Karen moment in the comments down below. Until next time, thanks for joining the wild ride on Karen Go Burr. Keep those laughs a rolling.